All right. There we go. Back to Pokemon. Been a while. Been a while. Yeah. We, is, I think this, this is... was the last time was before we started Hat in Time. Yeah, we've just been doing Hat in Time a whole lot, so. It's a fun game. I, get, I always get the A's and B's mixed up on the DS. So you are at the top of Team Galactic Mountain Place. Between saves, you, kind of, you, you hit a roadblock last time. So I got you a bunch of rare candies. Oh, thank you. So those are in your bag, and you can use those to uh, progress. It's in the medicine, I think, the second pocket. Ooh. They'll spend them all in one place. I, meanwhile, am going through the little bits of post-game off on the island in the northeast. Nice. Fire spin. That's an interesting move. Uh, that's Th like like wrap or bind, but fire. Yeah. So just so do no. the weak hit and then some extra continuous damage. Oh, that got buffed a little bit in later generations. But not this generation. No. So you lost power yesterday. We're, we're currently in the middle of the big snowstorm. Let's go ahead and date yeah. this video. Mostly raining right now, where I am, so... Oh, is it raining? I yeah. walked out to get groceries today. Yeah, how... how, how, how perilous was that journey? Uh, well, well, there's my exercise for the rest of forever. It was why I walked a mile through foot-high snow. Yeah. And, uh, there, there was some, like, trail made on the way there using, like, the, the main road sidewalks. But on the way back, I took the uh, the back way through the schools, and it was just it was just full all the way up. It was unbearable, wasn't it? It, it was very high, very thick snow. Thick snow. But uh, it finally it it snowed the first day, and it was only like you know like four inches or something. And I didn't want to risk going out. I thought, oh, maybe maybe it'll be gone by tomorrow. And then it was it snowed again that night. And it went up to like a foot, and I was just stuck in the house eating rice and beans for a couple days. <laughs> At least you were able to eat. Yeah. Kinda. And I presume it was warm. Yeah, it was warm in the house. I did have. I did. I did. I haven't lost power, unlike much of the United States, apparently. Yeah, that's because our infrastructure is shit. Yeah. Future site. Uh. Next move always hits, right? It, it changes so much between generations. Future Sight, I believe, is like a uh, hundred power. Let me look this up. I, I can look it up here. Two turns after this move is use the foe's attack with the hunk of hunk. <laughs> oh, hunk a hunk of burning love. So I it's mean... eighty power, but it is not. It's not like tight based. Like, it's not going to deal psychic-type damage. It's just going to deal an 80-power yeah. typeless special hit. So, yeah, it's awful. It gets buffed to, like, 120 power in As more recent be. gens. As it should. Is Because you have that, like, a two-turn delay. Evolves, this guy evolves on happiness, right? Is he, is he not evolved yet? I thought I evolved him at some point. Who? About Goku? Isn't he? Yeah, he's evolved. Okay, he is. All right. I thought he's, uh... No longer is, uh, Kid Goku. Now Goku. voiced by, by, by Sean Schemmel. Okay, so I, I confu I've been doing the Gen 3 highlights, and I confused myself for a second here. In Gen 3, the Combuskins had Wonder Guard. In this Gen, they have Arena Trap, so I can't run from the fucker. Oh no, <laughs> you gotta kill it. I do. I have to slay a chicken. It, do it still doesn't affect it! What, is it a ghost?! It's ghosts. It's <laughs> ghost chicken. Hello, hello, Darian. Arise, ghost chicken. In other news, part of the reason I, I, I said Pokemon today is because we haven't done, like, a, a chill stream that we can just talk about stuff for a little yeah. while. Yeah, especially after last stream, which... Uh, last stream was very active. Is Wario Date. That was a yes. fun stream, though. Or a sphere. Fake Kamea. Yeah, what should I get rid of? 
No, not that. Not that either. Yeah, that. Sure. Wait, is it a physical attacker? I think he's both. Ah, oh, damn. Aura Sphere uh, always hits, right? I know, yeah. but it's special. I think it's worth getting rid of Quick Attack. Alright. Fair enough. Especially if I, you get somebody hits sand in his eyes, he's like, that doesn't affect me. <laughs> How's he's Goku, special? he can sense ki. Uh, it's actually higher than his regular attack. Oh, so he's cool. a special attacker. I mean, it's mixed. Right They're close. What a bizarre way to... It's weird how they gave Lucario the aura mechanic in Smash. Because it doesn't really work that way in the Pokemon games. Or no. for Goku. Maybe. Other than that, like, it's like the universal shonen trope of the hero coming back from, you know, getting his ass beat. That's not specific to Goku. And yet yeah, they made it like Lucario's whole gimmick in Smash Brothers. I would love to see like uh, like a shonen fight scene go the way of a pro wrestling match where sometimes the villain gets the upper hand and then the hero gets the upper hand for a bit and it goes back and forth until finally it get, there's like high stakes. Uh, oh, close combat. <laughs> Opposite that, we have Baki where we had the serial killer villains who just continuously got beat into the ground over and over and over again. Yeah. And they, they just never came back. They didn't have their underdog moment. They just lost every fucking time. Ah, oh, damn it. Close Same for Ali that Jr. Were... That Baki just had a lot of the villains, to, the antagonists just getting beat up over and over again. Yeah, it's great. It's cathartic, especially the more asshole What's Force Pump? Is. Uh, Force Palm. Could paralyze. 60. Yeah, may leave the target paralyzed. Probably Versus. close combat's better. 120. I know. I But I didn't want to get over to Force Palm because per But then again, it's, it's just if it works. It's not like Thunder Wave yeah. or some shit. Double check with both uh, two hit and... Uh... <laughs> Doing the Jack Hanma method right here. Steroids. Steroids. Baki doesn't care if you use him. Strength yeah. is strength. Well, he ends up vomiting them out, but he still reaps the benefits. So. See, I am amazed that Jack Hanma did not f die at the end of his arc. Yeah. Probably would <laughs> have sent a better message to kids if he did. Dude, you don't understand. Like, all these fucking people, they should have died. Dragon Pulse. All right. Bucky characters have an unlimited blood supply, so no one will ever bleed out. There is a dude that old dude fucking stopped his heart to get out of a fight, and he claimed victory because he did that. Technically, I didn't lose. There was you showed me a video called Bucky Logic on YouTube, and half yes. of it was like straight from the series bullshit, and half of it was jokes made up by the YouTuber. And if you show yeah. it to someone who's never seen Bucky, they couldn't tell the difference. Dragon Pulse. Uh, special... I... Why, you, you know it's no Dragon stab. Pulse? Right. Yeah, I know, right? It's like a dragon. What What uh, is super effective? What oh, is yeah. dragon super effective against? Other dragons. Basically just so, other dragons, but... I might replace Sword Stance. Are you ever gonna use that? Uh, Since you're a special attacker. Part, partly. Yeah. So he, so he has that trick in case something is weak to dragon, which is only other dragons, and dragons are a rare Pokemon type in this game. Uh, well, you, you're you about to go to Victory Road, which has more dragons. Uh, so that could be useful. I like, Goku I like the Dragon kind of... Slayer. What a missed opportunity that they didn't use the Great Ape form in the Harutagarn movie. That would have been great. Just Kaiju battle. <coughs> Thank you, Wonder Guard. In other news, I've mentioned this. I haven't really had a chance to talk about it on stream. Is that I've uh, I've been watching Kim Possible of late. Yeah, are you rewatching it? Uh, oh, I, yeah. I you watched it as a kid. The... You never really watched it, right? No, no, it, it seemed kind of lame when I was a kid. 
It was I was deep into my anime phase then, and I looked at that and I'm like, <sighs> it is very Disney Channel, and it is yes, very much that's... a cartoon. Like I haven't quite finished it yet. I got through uh, I got through the movie, and I I'm at a point like I give like a summation on it. It's very similar to Totally Spies, in terms of. Oh. Like, there's, there's a continuity. Like, they say, hey, remember when that villain did that thing? Oh, I remember that. But there's not arcs <laughs> or anything. Hey. <laughs> Damn it. I, I, I don't like it when these things don't have arcs. Yeah. Ar arcs are nice. Uh, I was talking it to does you have a uh, It does have a nice yeah. kind of, like, rogues gallery. That's the fun part of the show. Ah, uh, cool. So it's like an old-school spy show in that regard, where it's like, oh, hey, it's the fiendish... Yeah, you watch the James Bond movies for the villains. That's the point. Oh, you watch the James Bond movies because... Or, uh, in my experience, the old James Bond movies were because, like, the villains' like plans were progressively, like, wilder. Yeah. And also the, the gadgets being pretty, pretty fun. It does do all of that. It is, you know, the, the spy, all those tropes. I, I, I want you to watch it. Watch, like, a few movies with me. Like, my top ten movies. Like James Bond <laughs> so I've got it. Yeah, because I've got a top ten list. Not in any particular order. Just, like, I guess we would watch them in terms of, like, from oldest to newest. And mm -hmm. a couple of them are Bros. Pierce Brosnan movies. They're fun. And you gotta say... And I gotta say this, but each movie has its own in opening. So it's like you're watching an entire season of a spy anime at once. Mm. Or an entire, yeah, with a movie. What was I just saying? Uh, Kim Possible. You're gonna talk about the, the worst time travel episode you've ever seen. That, that was something I was getting to. I was talking about the... the... Rogues Gallery. Oh, it's uh, it it it's kind of tongue in cheek about the villains being villains thing. Like it's self aware, but it's not a deconstruction oh. like Venture Brothers. So it kinda, okay. it's kind of half assed in that regard. Oh, so it's more like uh, like a uh, Shaolin showdown where they were kind of like, yeah, we're villains. We have a guild. We we know each other. We do the villains things. This is these are the things villains do. Like they leave the hero tied up and then walk out of the room. Why? Oh, I don't know. That's just how it's done. It's tradition. <laughs> As opposed to there being like a full guild and in-universe explanation for why all of this shit happens. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, we do it. I don't know why. Like Venture Brothers got real wrist deep in it. <laughs> you say it like that about Venture Brothers. He comes out. But I think I'd, I'd make the... I'd make the same kind of summation as I would for Totally Spies, is just just watch the movie, and you get the entire gist of the series. You get the best version of it that way, it introduces all the characters, you're not, you're not missing anything. Muddy Water. It's better surf. It's surf, Wait. but it can lower accuracy. 95... Oh, the accuracy's a bit lower, and I already... Oh, wait, this may lower target's accuracy. You can't get rid of Surf, though, can you? Nope. Oh, well. Oh, well. You get rid of Body Slam, I guess. Get rid of Surf later. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you know what? How much uh, does uh, that have? 15? 10? 10 more Surf, but with lower accuracy? That's fine. I'd like to have more Surf. This water is muddy. <laughs> That's not mud. <laughs> Blocked drain. <laughs> I'm just now I'm picturing that fucking drain addict dude draining a, a fucking. Is that like a parody of the Drano commercials? No, no, it's literally just a YouTuber uh, called Drain Addict who, like, his whole entire thing is he records himself uncl unclogging drains. Oh, okay. And they get nasty. He has a he has a rat companion called Ratty, who's like this toy rat. He's like, we gonna we gotta find some corn today, Ratty. He's Australian. I'm trying to in, in, yeah. take that voice. He's not nasally, but uh, but yeah, he's just like 
Get some, get some corn for your Nazi mate. Apparently he makes a lot of money there too because uh, it's a problem in Australia. Australia, all these like fast growing trees that get into the fucking drains like really easily, so he has to use special. Anyway, talk Australia's about Australia's uh, the... entire wildlife is just trying to get humans to get out. Yes. Yeah. In any way possible. Like, I don't ever want to visit Australia because I'm terrified a gimpy gimpy bush might sting me. Because I don't know, man. If that hits me, I'm suffered with that kind of pain. I don't know what I would do. Apparently, the, the, the leaves can sting you even when they're all long dead. That's scary shit. So talk about talk about the impossible bad time travel episode. I want to know. What oh, that's right. So I told you that uh, aside from wh whatever else I just talked about in the show, Kim Possible had the worst time travel arc I've ever seen in anything. Yeah, tell me. It about had that. it had like two specials. It had the time spit the time travel thing, and then it had a movie. But uh, okay. even setting aside Zelrog's law, it made no goddamn sense. Just the so sequence even... of events. So even with common uh, time travel logic, it still makes no sense. As yes. opposed to strict... It's no time crimes, is what you're saying. Like, the, the uh, it starts with the bad guys get the time travel artifact, and they decide to go back in time to, to, to beat their nemesis, Kim Possible. Now, what okay. in this situation, you're the bad guy. What logically would you do? What would be your first move? Um, how cruel can, am I allowed to be on the kid's show? Uh, well, I, 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 if you're accounting for, like, breaking the fourth wall. Logically speaking, okay. you would just go back and kill her, right? Or, or kill her I father, so she was her. never born. I would I would make it so that, uh, if this is a Disney show, I would make it so that you, I go back in time, and I make it so that their parents don't even meet. Like, I would... Like, like I back would to the future to the method. Woman, yeah, I'd go to the woman and go, hey, you know, this guy, he's a jerk. <laughs> just cuck, cuck, cuck her mom. That's that's the method. Yes. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's it. And then you get, and then you get into, uh... To Helen Impossible, the evil version, who is born from a. Anyway. So, yeah, go on. But what they do don't they do? do that. No. Uh, what, what they, they decide do? to do is to break her spirit. They go back to when what she's it? a preschooler and they bully her. <laughs> That's their plan. <laughs> it's so lame. <laughs> so, this fails. And they okay. try again when she's like a, a, Wait, no, no, a, a no, no, tween. No, 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 You gotta tell me, how does it fail? Does preschooler Kim Possible kick their asses? Uh, well, they turn themselves into preschoolers to blend in, you see. Okay. <laughs> they don't get very far. Present day Kim is also time traveling. She Because like a future agent came and gave her a time travel device so she can follow all this shit. She, kick, okay. she kicks their asses or something. I don't remember the details, but it doesn't work. So they, they go on a little bit later, and they try when she's like a tween. That okay. fails. That gets interrupted. It kicks their asses. Did they, did they turn themselves into tweens as well to bully her again? I don't think that one, no. They, they decided that was a stupid idea the second time. <laughs> well, <laughs> better late than never. Oh, hey, a dark type attack. Physical, though. Another villain gets the thing. Take it. They find out that the, it's been taken over the world in the future. It's a dark future. Jack Spicer's one. You know that kind of okay, thing. Okay. Yeah. And so to deal with that, you would think that the logical thing would be to like go back and prevent the villain from getting the thing in the first place. No, yeah, they go no. to the future where it's already fucked to deal with it. But. <laughs> So they skip ahead like 20 years. Go 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 to dystopian future. Fight fight the bad guy, break the time thing, world saved. Wait, they break the time thing and everything that would have happened. Yeah, like magic. Of... Oh, so so it's one of those times pieces where where if it's working it, 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 the future can't be undone because it's in Oh my god. It's already going to happen or something. I don't know. Don't think about it too hard. So you gotta, so you gotta just break it in order to make the, all the time magic undone. Not only that, will... but the villain who took over the world turns out did something prior to the start of like before they got the artifact. She'd already meddled with it in some way, so she was able to go back and mess with things, but no one else is able to do so successfully. 
What? It's just, I, I can't even explain how little sense it makes. The more you think about it, the more unraveled it gets. Oh man, I'm just picturing you just just in front of that fucking board with all like the lines down. Just, Pepe Sylvia, who's this time traveling? Pepe Sylvia. I could make a whole YouTube video about how little sense this makes and how many times it contradicts itself throughout the movie. Oh, you should you should do it. That'd be funny. You do it. You just it's all wrong. Talks about fucking fucking how little sense this time travel plot makes. Hilarious. Although it still probably didn't piss me off as much as when Shaolin Showdown blatantly, like, didn't understand time travel, and then Clay had the gall to say, I don't reckon you understand how time travel works, partner! Clay? Are you you mean Hannibal Bean? No, Clay. The oh. cowboy dude. The hero cowboy dude. That's, that's Not right. Not the angry that's... evil bean cowboy dude. Different cowboys. Okay. Okay, oh, Clay is the American yeah. dude. I forgot. All I remember, all my favorite, all the characters I remember were Omi, uh, Himiko, Jack Spicer. Yeah. And, Clay, and, Clay oh, didn't sorry. do a whole lot. That's because, okay, oh, like, two of them turned evil. One of them, uh, you, could you notice that she's different because she changes her outfits every time she goes somewhere new, which is why I thought she was, like, like, a, a, actually an American as opposed to an Asian. <laughs> yeah, because she, 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 you watched the ghetto episode, or the, the American inner city episode, and she <laughs> dressed all like street, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the time I you showed me that trailer for the proto Gainax, and I'm like, I've seen this before, I've seen this in a Fine Sauce Joel video. That's right, it was uh, Daikon 4 was yes. shown to me, and it was, it was like demo by the people that went on to become Gainax. Yeah. Okay, we gotta fight them all. Oh no, I gotta fight Dalga? No, I gotta fight you. Oh yeah. No need to rush, I can understand you wanna fight our boss. But we're gonna fight you two on one. No, Sonic Sonic's here. Okay, so... Have you oh, been man. saving? I think I did, yeah. I don't oh, want to What happens if you that. lose here? Do you get sent back to the Pokemon Center at the base of the mountain? You know what? That's fine. Aw, oh, you have a Munchlax. I'm the 0. 0.001%! 0.00% Munch waxes are rich as fuck. They're rare as fuck. Yeah, cause... Cause the babies don't ever move, they just eat. I had an idea for a... For a hypothetical, uh, Snorlax, uh, evolution. Yeah? If, it, if there was Snorlax as a psychic type, you'd have a evolution called Dreamlax, and... People who uh, walk around near a Dreamlax, they would see the stuff Snorlaxes were dreaming about, like like food and stuff. Except it'd all be an illusion. Yeah. Sound like a good concept. Sure. The sleep Pokemon. The dream Pokemon. There is uh, what is like Drowsy, the dream eater. Yeah, Drowsy would just be there eating the, the imaginary food. <laughs> have Drowsy eat, parasites. Eat. Yeah, just like, like, please. Are you, uh, are you close to your mic? You're a little bit quiet. Oh, sorry. Is this better? Yeah. I might have moved it accidentally. Turok 1 oh. and 2 got announced for PS4. Turok 1 and 2. Like, remasters? The only Turok game I've ever actually seen played was Turok Evolution on the PS2. My brother liked that oh. one. I've only played the Game Boy Turok games. It's a fine representation of the Turok series, I'm sure. Yeah, it was... You were played as, like, this Native American Rambo dude, you were fighting dino... I mean, that's like, every Turok, invaders. though. It's such an... It, um, it's, a, it's like a game concept that you don't really see anymore. Just something crazy, like, Native American dude fights dinosaur invaders. Yeah. 
I want I want people to bring that back, just like those crazy concepts. That's another so that's something... thing. Oh, go on. No, no, I, I'm done. You, you, you go. That's another thing about Kim Possible is that it is kind of dated as a '90s show. There oh, are a couple characters has... that just amount to being like stereotypes, like you saw that I am the Scottish guy. <laughs> that's my entire character. Oh, air, air cutter hits everything. No? Okay. Oh god, fake out hurts. That was like 150 damage. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Imagine getting hit by something you can't see it coming. Oh, thank you for paralyzing him. We might be able to beat him yet. Oh no. Oh no. What do I have the strong against poison? Nothing. Psychic? Oh. Uh, steel right. is immune to poison. Defensively. Oh. Uh, Alright. Well. M E T H O D, man. Yeah. And I say it's very much a cartoon because it, it doesn't. It's not. Kim Possible is not a detail series. If they, if they want to have an episode in space, they're just going to throw people in space. <laughs> Why are we in space now? Who cares? This is a show. Well, I mean, like, they take a rocket there, but they, they forget the logistics. Forget how unfeasible that is. Don't worry about it. It's cartoon. It's cartoon. It's that kind of show. I bet, yeah. Uh, Jack, what? have you heard about the Kingdom Hearts games coming to PC? Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, that's the only thing that would probably make me get Epic Store. I want Epic Store. Now, because I want to get the, the Kingdom Hearts games on the PC. They'll probably, they'll probably run pretty well, too. Yeah. And you know what you could do? You can mod them. By the way, I just tried to poison Skun Tank and it didn't work. <laughs> Skun Tank. So why didn't it work? What, what's, what am I missing? Uh... I think you can poison poison types. I think you probably just failed or missed. No, you psychic. Oh, it's dark type. Oh, well, you you, you fucked me out of that. All right, gyro ball. Then. I assumed you were talking about Golbat, the poison type. No, I was you talking. Remember the Golbat is poison type, right? Yes, I remember. I'm trying to take out the skunt. To fuck. Man, God, skunt. Do that. You fucking skunt. Dunty bastard. That mods for Kingdom Hearts are amazing. There's a One Piece world I saw at one point. Oh, there are already mods. Wait, is it already out? I guess, like, uh, for PlayStation versions, there are mods? I remember... You remember I had mods for my PS3 Unreal Tournament. Oh, yeah, that's right. Billy Mays here! Okay, so so poison can't work on steel, right? Correct. It's immune, even if uh, I have fighting as my secondary type. Yep, as long as you're okay. steel. The man okay. of steel. Lucario. I mean Goku. I mean Superman. <gasps> Why is he a steel type? Because his, his aura is, is like that of steel. I think. I think the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 are like a single item too. They're like they're a set. In the Epic okay. Store. Uh oh. Be good. I didn't see what the other ones were. I didn't pay attention. What? Why is that fat cat so fast? Let's see. 1.5 and 2.5 collection. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 final chapter prologue. What? What is that? Uh, uh, seriously, what is that? Is that like a remake of uh, Chain of Memories or some shit? Why, why would you have a set with 2.5 and then a 2.8 as a separate game? Was this just like three extra cutscenes? 
The what fuck is, is Kingdom point, Hearts 2.0? I don't know, you keep going. In Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Is that, is that Chain of Memory except Remade? <laughs> to not have the cards... The, okay, this is the title of the Wikipedia article. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. I love square, long square titles like that. Is a compilation of games from the Kingdom Hearts series. Okay, it's a compilation. Yep. Successor to the 2.5 Remix game compilation, which is now separately compiled with 1.5 and 2.5 Remix compilation. <laughs> what is going on with Kingdom Hearts? It's just a bunch of compilations. It's a high definition remaster of Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Dream Drop Distance, the 3DS one. Wait, why does this call it Dream Drop Distance? Why you gotta rename it? What? Also includes two new pieces of content set in the Kingdom Hearts series. Kingdom Hearts X back X back cover is a cinematic film based on based on the game Kingdom Hearts X. What? Is a Japanese role-playing browser game. I call it healed. It's 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 become dot hack. It's just it's everything. <laughs> Franchise that shit. And the other title, Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. Oh, that's the prequel. Takes place after the events of Dream Drop Distance. 0 0.2 and 2.8. What the fuck, Square? If you put them together, you'll get the plot to Kingdom Hearts 3! <laughs> Thanks, Goofy. Oh, that's right. So, so, so the Palkia the space portal thing. But those three won't let it happen. No, sir. No. The red chain had crumbled away to nothing, but why? Why would Mesprit, what? the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? <laughs> Never, mind Never mind that! It's all destroyed! My galaxy is gone! I won't allow this! <clears throat> I will capture those three again and craft another red chain! Oh, will you now? Yeah, now I'm gonna crush you. Alright, I'm leveled them up all to level 50. Let's hope this works. If only the Gen 8 protagonist had a better villain. I, I want to see her go up against this uh, this guy. Oh, will you, you cheeky cunt? Yeah. Now, instead of energy ah, crisis... Ah, you're gonna make a new galaxy, are you? And just stand here and watch that! Go on, I'll wait! Shut up! Glor Stop making fun of me! Fucking Gloria. It was, it was great. Just the way they... YouTube went to town with her. Yeah. Because guess what? People like characters that are, you know, characters. Oh, that's a dark type, isn't it? Dark flying. So fighting will be neutral against it. Oh, well, well, you know what? It's fine. You've got two Gokus in your party, I just realized. Yeah, I've got Goku number one and Goku number two. It's Team Goku. They're like a tag team. If you were playing uh, Fighter Z, you could have seven Gokus. How, and the, they're, they, they fight the three Links in uh, Super Smash Brothers. Man, I can't wait until Drip Goku gets added to Fighter Z. <laughs> it, it look, you know why it got popular? Because it looks so bizarre. Just Goku wearing a bunch of like modern, like like rapper swag it wasn't the first instance of it like there was there was a series of people making like gangster dragon ball character memes and i don't know where it started well cuz i uh, no, I, I don't know why and, which is weird because naruto characters look way more like uh, like rappers than fucking anybody in dragon ball z just, it wasn't it, like Darian showed me pictures of all the Boruto villains, and I thought they were all the same dude, and he looked like a mumble rapper. <laughs> it's just him just going, just keep going. Wait, they're different people. <laughs> Giga Drain.
Okay. So I got. I just had an idea. Yeah. Sailor Moon. But its fight scenes are done by the Baki author. Couldn't be worse. <laughs> yeah, there'd be scenes. Oh wow, I'm getting my ass kicked. It's like the level of detailed explanation that you get in JoJo, but with some thinly veiled, failed attempt to be realistic. Yeah. <laughs> That's Baki. I yeah, and somebody's going to uh, somebody's going to Gray. You know, you don't have to explain everything in this series. It's magic. He's like, no, nah, it's okay. I've I've read books on Thumrad. I can't pronounce it. The, the scientific, the quote unquote scientific term for magic. There's a Thum scientific term for magic. Thum Thumerology or something. I think. Oh, I don't okay. know. Man, Tuck's almost... Tuck's barely beat that Gyarados. Crobat. This might have been a mistake. Uh... Well, he can't... He doesn't have anything super effective against you. Yeah, but then again, I don't really have anything super effective against it. Whoa. Oh, flinching makes you faster? Yeah, so it could never happen again. Ah, dragon move. What was that? Supposed Super to dragon me? fist. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. It's a Zubat evolution. Of course, it's going to be annoying. Dumb fucking bats. Uh. Ground can't affect flying. No. Uh, these are. No, that's not going to work. Uh, fine. You got Psychic. Yeah, that's what I'm grabbing. I wonder what the Dot Hack series is doing these days. Like, wh what a... That's kind of sad for them, that they were the, the pioneers, and then after they kind of do everything, that's when the Isekai, the video game series, take off. Uh, you know what? Fuck Dot Hack and then try to spread out one game over four games. Okay, yeah, they, they did do a lot of stupid stuff. Y yeah, they did that, and then they did it again, except with three discs, and people are wondering why people nobody plays played their games a whole lot. A lot of them are out of print too, just sell one fucking it's weird it's if you you can't buy just one of the discs. It's like you have one of the discs, you only have like one part of the story. It's dumb! Imagine if they sold Hate Final it. Fantasy VII in four individual discs that you had to buy individually. Goku wants to learn the move extreme speed. Flash step? Is that flash step? I think it's 80 damage, quick attack. So attack always goes before any other move. I kind of want it, but... It's only 80 damage, normal type, though. Yeah. Yeah. Dot Hack Conglomerate is the current project of Dot Hack by CyberConnect2 and various other companies and successor to Project Dot Hack. Wait, CyberConnect2 is running that? I guess okay. so. Encompasses a series of three PlayStation 2 games. Wait, what? Current <laughs> project? How old is this article? <laughs> Has no one touched the dot hack wiki in this long? See, I told you it does not do it so well. <laughs> you didn't believe me. Ah, right. oh, shit, I forget what he was, who he was bringing out. Fine. Oh, a wee <laughs> A weavile. Okay, that's uh, Snow Dark. So. You got steel? Yeah, you got gyro ball. Yeah, I got gyro ball. Aha, uh -huh, I'm slower than you. This is gonna be the equivalent of Big O Punch. Go Big O. Oh man, yeah, God Hack is fucking. I like. I, I remember as a kid just playing the original game, and I was. I wasn't really... The gameplay wasn't so hot, because it played like a less interactive Knights of the Old Republic. 
Yeah. And I, I was not liking that. And uh, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm only getting a full, full fourth of the game. Wait a minute, my party members just kind of leave whenever they want to. What is the? It's like this. It's the series that works better as like a show about a game rather than an actual game. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I never actually played any of the games. You're not missing out on, on in my opinion. The show is varied. Oh, cool. I did I like Dot, Dot Hack Sign for the most part was an interesting series. It just again same problem as Big O. Mm -hmm. Terrible ending. Right, Halk is so out of control after being forced to use its power by the red chain. Jackie, I just ran into Sanic. He, he said, said he, he believed, believed in you. you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I just want you to know, he's counting on you. Thank you, Professor Ocelot. Don't think I've forgotten what you look like, despite you turning away from the camera. You guys see any of that Yashi show yet? Do I have to? Yet? Uh... Oh no, we're waiting for the dub, I think. Let me check on that, because I haven't... You can either catch it or knock it out. Either one works. Okay, do I... Do I still have the item? Did I even have the item in the first place? Yes, Master I ball. do. Yeah. I feel like it's fate. Is there anything else I can catch with the Master Ball? There are roaming Pokémon later, but you probably aren't going to get to that point. Because we'll stop as once you finish like the Elite Four. Like I'll save, I'll take the, I'll keep this the profile of uh, the save and play through it on my own maybe. But all right. Oh hey, I recognize this track. Hey Palkia. Well, you're having me fight that one. Oh, don't worry, you're not, you're not gonna be fighting it. Uh, the wiki does not have any English premiere dates for Yashihime yet, so I'm guessing the dub is not premiered. Okay. I don't know if I'm... F I, I would bet it would be on Adult Swim, but I'm not... I don't know if I'm following like that much. Is either going to be on Adult Swim? Who's dubbing it? Is it, is it still, uh, Viz? Probably or it's Ocean? the same studio. Ocean, then. It is Viz Media has licensed it. Okay. But they'll probably use Ocean for the... for its... Yeah, Alkia, I would assume the spatial so. Pokemon is said to live in a gap... In the spatial dimension parallel to ours, appears in mythology. Who, who says this? It. Do we give a nickname to Palkia? <laughs> what hey, god of space! What do we call it? Snookums? So it's a god of uh, dimensions, right? God of space. Yeah. So, which means that it distorts space all around it? Sure. Oh, well. Oh. You have to have E S C H E R? Yeah. Alright. That'd probably sure be more it. appropriate for uh, Giratina, but whatever. What would, then what would be appropriate nickname for this one? Ah, that's fine, whatever. The well the Giratina thing doesn't happen in this game. In the in Platinum you go to a, a like a Giratina dark space and you're like walking on walls and ceilings and shit. Oh. I don't know how. I just threw a Master Ball at it. It was so comfortable, it never wanted to leave. You were you're magnificent. <laughs> Truly, you were incredible. I just... <laughs> Is he talking about my form? It's a beautiful ball throwing. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Well, he's only 60? Yeah. The last time the professor did a lot of research. He became very worried about you, Jackie, so he came out to a place as terrible as this. Glad to I'm see fine. you're safe. Let's leave. <laughs> Catching me by the hand and dragging away. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. Thing. That's what makes us diamond dogs. Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was before that was before Liquid's cowboy phase. <gasps> Wait! Or was it after? Not Liquid, awesome. Wait, these things are common, aren't they? 
I keep forgetting that these aren't, like, legendaries. Yeah, they're not even good. Sadly. Sadly. What type is it again? Psychic. Oh. Wait, are they making you walk back down the mountain? Yes, they are. Can you fly from the top? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, do I even have a Pokemon that allows me to fly? You have Stacy? No, is that that's a a bi barrel, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think you have your flyer. Did you? you I think you convinced me to leave him behind. You have a digger. That could be bi barrel. They revealed the cast for the dub a few months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. I guess they just haven't gotten around to premiering it yet. You should uh, you, you should tell me who the who the cast is. Oh, come on. Stop hitting me. Please stop. Funimation began streaming the English dub on November 6, 2020. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so it's, it's out. been streaming right. on uh, Funimation. Funny or Crunchyroll. They're basically the same company at this point. They're getting, a, they're getting shit on a lot uh, recently. A lot of people are not liking what they're doing. Who, Funimation? Uh, and Crunchyroll. Let's just let's just wrap them up in the two entities. But yeah, both of them have been getting a lot of hate. I think, I think Crunchyroll tried to do their own anime, but it flopped hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't like it when, uh companies show their ass. Even if I even... It's just, I don't know. I guess uh, Kohaku has a new voice actor. Presumably because he's an adult. Isn't he older? Yeah. Doesn't Kohaku look like a fucking old man now or something? He looks like... He looks like he should be, like, fighting Yakuza or some shit. Didn't Kirby Moro die recently? Yeah, that's why they're replacing Yoroku. This, this is uh, this is an old article. It's listing all of the uh, previous actors as returning. Yeah, Kirby Moro died, so so uh, Moroku is uh, is someone else now. That's I don't know who he is, but all right, Stacy, can you? Oh, you can rock climb and rock smash. I don't think she can dig. Uh. What about you? Can you dig? You can surf. So, Kagome's daughter is Eric, is voiced by Erica Mendez, who was in Hunter Hunter and Kill a Kill. I don't know who has. Uh, who, do you have the name for, because that's the series Erica we watched. Mendez. Might be Kilua. Okay. Oh, it was Ryuko Matoi in uh, Kill a oh, Kill. Oh, she, she's, okay, so uh, Kagome's daughter is the main character is Ryuko. of Yashihime. Yes. And Gon. Wait, Gon? Gon? Gon and Ryu Tomatoi are the same person? Apparently so. That's funny. <laughs> Considering that their personalities are kind of different, one's more happy than the other one. Also voiced Cyborg 001 in a recent Cyborg thing. Wait, did I... Hold on. You're the one with the smoke bombs, right? You have to be the one with the smoke bombs. Yeah, you have the smoke bombs! I can just get out of here by just running from everything. Alright, so who's... <clears throat> who's uh, the main character, Toa? That was... that's Erica Mendez, that's Gon. Oh, okay, I thought... that's not Kagome's daughter, though. It, it's Toa Higarashi. Yeah, that's that's not her. That's not Kagome's okay, daughter. Well, whatever, I won't ask questions. I, I will wait to show watch the thing I, before I hear anything. Alright. So Toa is okay. Uh, Setsuna is voiced by Kira Buckland. Who is. Zushi in Hunter x Hunter. Osu? Osu! Gonin. Oh, Gonin uh, Kilua. Uh, Gonin uh, Zushi are siblings. And Raimi Sugimoto in Diamond is Unbreakable. Who's Raimi? Raimi. Raimi! Oh, the ghost chick! No. Yo, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, 
yeah. That's interesting. Uh, Maroha is voiced by Morgan Berry. Is she in anything we've seen? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm running. She had a bit role in Dragon Ball Super as Kakunsa. Isn't that the, the the woman that was, like, macking on uh, Gohan? And the other dude was, like, trying to get Gohan, like, framed so that so he could get with Videl? Is that the woman? I don't know. Okay, then it's probably not. Bit rolls and Diamond is Unbreakable. <clears throat> so this is her first major role, then, in anything. Anything we've seen, I guess. Yeah. And stuff we care about. She has plenty of roles, it's just a lot of recent anime that we haven't watched much. Yeah. She's in Freedom Planet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and Fire uh, oh. Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged. Oh, she was she was another uh, ascended abridged actor? I, I guess so. That's the only like uh, Death Battle as the Yellow Power Ranger. She's got a couple, like, YouTube roles. Ah. Uh, okay, I see it now. Yes, climb. My commute to the grocery store. Circa today. <laughs> Sorry for triggering you. So what are we watching? We're watching... Uh, we're in the middle of uh, Steven Universe right now. We are. We are just towards the end of Season 3 of 5. Yes. Uh, we, we just... Uh, Steven we met, and uh, Amethyst fused for the first time. We met Bismuth. Jasper went crazy and got corrupted. Yeah, Bismuth is... Bismuth was cool. And then she's like, You could have ended the... She was like, You could have ended the war, Rose! Why didn't you use my weapon? I'm not Rose and this is awful! We needed has, to kill them all! It has grown into a very dramatic series. Yes, and then the reveal that, like, that, like, Jasper was like, yeah. I think you. I have a ho-ho, ho but I'm not positive. I think you do. Oh, it says I have one. I'm stupid. Yeah. There's a little Pokeball symbol there. Uh, we just finished at the Netflix Baki, or as much of it as there is now. There's another season yeah. on the way. Yes, it will be coming, and we will be watching it, because because Baki's a fun series. Like, Baki is a series that I never really get pissed off at, which is good. It, it, every time, it like, the guy explains some other kind of weird bullshit, it's just like... I, I'm, I it's fascinating to, to listen to what stupid explanation he's come up with this time. Yes, yes. My favorite. Uh, I, I I still like when uh, Jack and that one uh, Russian dude Skorsky were fighting in the phone booth, and the third guy was just there. I'm like, oh, oh, please, oh, please. They didn't get knocked into the phone booth and continue <clears throat> fighting. They slowly no, they stepped inside in order to fight inside the phone booth. The Just occupied like, they, phone booth. You know what? You know what that means. That means that both of them looked at that and thought that that would make for a very good tactical advantage. Or, or they just thought it'd be cool. It'd be like, hey, you know what? Be you know what? Be awesome. Oh fuck yeah! I always wanted to do this. <laughs> it's, it's what a coincidence. I always wanted to do this too. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Always gonna look at Baki as the edgy Street Fighter anime. It likes it's to think edgy, it's though. more realistic than Street Fighter. It doesn't have it doesn't have energy projectiles. And I imagine if it does, they'll fucking explain it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll, and in another world, it probably wouldn't make sense. Imagination no. is all-powerful in Baki. If you imagine that you are a dragon, you can become a dragon. 
Sigorsky fucking imagining swimming in, in molasses and he's able to recover. No, that was Spec, Spec sorry. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Um, I wouldn't consider Baki edgy, though. I would consider My Hero Academia more edgy than Baki. Actually, Depending on your definition. By the definition well, okay. of, like, pushing the edge of what's acceptable, then yeah, Baki's edgy. Okay, yeah. It's got... It, it's, uh, it's it provocative. It do definitely does... It uh, abuses shock value early in the Netflix series. Yeah. Especially when it comes to violence, yeah, it, it can be edgy. As far as story content, no, though... No, as opposed... It is... as... Go on. Uh, yeah, go on. The, the giant cocks everywhere... The, all, the, all the testicles everywhere, all of the, the, the sex the scene shots. that was dragged on for Netflix, for TV. Americans love sex! Let's put lots of it in! Yeah, that Game kind of, of Thrones stuff. Is, Game of Thrones is popular. Yeah. And it had a lot of sex in it. I didn't say that wasn't edgy. Okay, I, 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 as far as, like, as far as, like, what I consider to be, like, painfully edgy, the bad kind of edgy, just where people are like, what are we doing? This... Violence Wanks. is just too much. Can humanity ever truly move on from this? There might be no hope after all. No, it has none of that. Yeah. It's just people just be like, hey, you know what would be cool? Let's fight each other. And everyone's like, yeah, go on, let's do it. And then they beat the shit out of each other really bloodily and stuff. And afterwards, they're just like, I've learned something from this fight that I will carry on with me. It pulls what it Castlevania Netflix did. I, well, it had the gay vampire sex. Was there other stuff that it was trying to be, like, intentionally shocking to get people talking about it? I've heard nothing but good things from, like, the Baki community. They're like, yeah, this is a good adaptation. I could not be right looking at the right stuff, though. <clears throat> but yeah. The manga was totally... Just... <laughs> I imagine that with the way Baki is, they didn't really adapt in any of the violence. If anything, they probably adapted out some of the violence. Alright, where am I going, Leap 4? Uh, I, I... I guess, yeah, you saved the world. Let's move on to a... Move on, next question. Hold on, where's my... F I need to... I think now you can go to the bottom right of Seno. Okay, all I gotta get my flying creature. Oh wait, I, I need to pause it first. Uh, Jack was talking about the Baki, not Castlevania. No, I'm not talking about Castlevania, I'm talking about Baki. Castlevania Netflix anime, I, uh, I, it, it has, no. Uh, but Baki, however, yes, Baki's great. I will defend Baki as, like, one of my favorites. Uh, I really did not catch a whole lot of Pokemon. This is shocking. Yeah. What? Uh, who do I use? I got, I got what? Uh, I, I mean, there weren't a whole lot of uh, new Pokemon, as we have discussed throughout this playthrough. Yeah. Kind of want, kind of want to use a Luxray. But Palky is right here. That's a water type. I need I need type advantage. <clears throat> no. Wait, hold on. I was gonna get a, a flying type. Which one is my flying type again? Did I release my... Oh, wait, okay, no. Here we go. I just forget that that's my flying type because it's so small. The Starly? Yeah. No, uh, I'm done. I kind of want to throw some 
rare candies at it, but I don't want to waste them like that. For, waste for some a... of your 999. Well... <clears throat> waste the I time mean, on stream, I suppose. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna... I already have a, a couple of people that know flying-type moves, so... So I'm going over here, you said? Uh, yes. Off to okay. Sunny Shore. Alright then. Let's go past Pastora and then go right. Alright. Here we go. I was looking for uh, an article I saw recently that uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield became the first since Gold and Silver to sell over 20 million copies. Oh, that's funny, because uh, cause I've heard nothing but, like, I've heard, like, a lot of YouTubers, like, talk about how much they hate that game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, well, it's, it's the Nintendo it's, stories, it, it's, fans feel betrayed, but all the ca all the casuals love it. And there are many, you know many, what? many more casual players for Nintendo to sell to. Yeah, like me, I'm not a hardcore Pokemon fan, look at how much I'm struggling through the goddamn menus. I like, I like Sword and Shield, I feel like... I feel I just feel like it was it was a it was a fun it was a good experience. And I know people are gonna be like just yelling at me about like how I'm wrong. About, no, it's it sucks objectively. Objectively it sucks and I'm just gonna be like I I enjoyed it, I'm sorry. What what do you want me to say? Red, blue, and green got up to thirty one point three eight million lifetime hey, sales. Where, where the fuck is what? What? Where's my Luxray? Is he still in your party? Oh yeah, that's right. I got rid of Tux. That's that's it. How to forget about that? Gold and silver, twenty three million. Sword shield, twenty million. Diamond and pearl at seventeen point six seven million. Ooh, I didn't know Gen four was that high up. X and Y also not very well received widely at six sixteen point five million. Then Ruby Sapphire, Sun Moon, Black White, and more uh, non main pair you know, ones. For a game about evolution, fans really hate it when the game when a game series evolves. Like they want it. Like there are some people that want it to be no, you gotta you gotta get the Pokemon. It's gotta be hard. You gotta. I mean, no, hard wait. would be evolving, Jack, because they've never been hard. <laughs> they still making you drive in this weather? Uh, no, school was. It's days off because President's Day anyway, but uh, it was canceled Friday. And looking outside, it seems pretty guaranteed it'll be canceled tomorrow. But I haven't gotten the official word yet. Uh, it's, uh, it's melting up here, so... Which is kind of par for the course of Seattle. Seattle kind of, uh... Alright, that's it. Uh, where are my... I guess it makes sense that the director's cut versions would have the uh, lesser sales, because uh, most people would have already bought the first release of, the, of that generation. Oh man, you were one... You were one level away from learning Thunder Fang? Something better than Spark? Wait. Might flinch or paralyze. See? It's better than Spark. I mean, it's got just only five less. Alright, fine. Wait. Or I could just get rid of Swagger. Do you need both Spark and Thunderfag? So this is my final party, huh? It's, uh, nice. <clears throat> what are you gonna need in the... Well, I guess you're not, you're not gonna... You still got at least one more gym before the Victory Road, anyway. Yeah, which gym is that? That would be, uh... Sunny Shore. What type... What type is that? Uh, he's electric. I haven't had I don't one have of those anything in a while. strong against... Oh, actually, no, I got Lord Slug. Lord Slug, uh, Ground is immune to electric. So I figure, ideally, we'll have this and one more Pokemon stream afterwards. 
scary face. The final gym, and then you've got the sharply reduced speed. Oh, thank you. Then you got Victory Road and the Elite Four. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Let us go. in the lead. You know why? Because he's got the smoke bombs. Oh, no! You don't need to. You just go down the beach. Okay. There's, like, some kind of item up there. I don't know what. It's not important. Oh, man, I fought everybody already. Darn oh, it. Juggernaut got cut! I, I keep looking away from my screen to look at your screen, and all my Pokemon are just getting knocked out by this wild Scyther somehow. Boss, what are you doing? You're not paying attention to the battle. I thought you guys could handle it. Where's my map? Map. Oh, he's using ice rollout. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Okay, now I just gotta go right. Well, they even let me in. What was blocking the path right in There's before? a power outage in Sunny Shore. You can't walk down this dirt road. <sighs> okay, well, okay, new new trainers. Awesome. Are you ready to meet my new and improved? Hold on, I gotta get rid of, uh... I gotta get rid of EXP share and give them something better. Do I have, even have anything better? Uh... Uh, let's see what we got. Dust tone, spell tag, magnet, nope. escape. No. I do have notifications. Ooh. School's closed, except Battleground apparently hasn't decided yet. For some reason. <laughs> uh, they're just they're just enjoying that uh, that sweet agrawana leaf, and are just are like ask us later. Snow's nice. It might melt, I don't know. We'll figure it out in the morning. Smash cut to a school bus upside down in a ditch in the snow. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, good thing this bus wasn't filled with kids. All right. Too bad it's Sunday. If it were tomorrow, that school bus would have been full. <laughs> So there's really nothing else I can give this guy that'd be useful. Darn it. For, like, a hold item? Yeah. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, I don't, I don't Goku. Have revives? Oh, there they are. Alright, saving. You lost three people and... and I might not be able to take this thing. <laughs> All right, let us go. I confront you. I'm rich. Yeah, I'm quite bored. Care to break the monotony? In hentai, that would be a that would be a proposition. Rich boy Mendo. It's Trey. Luxio. Oh, that's electric type. Oh, that's cute. It's not even evolved yet. Fort level 33 and it hasn't evolved. <laughs> I've been there, man. My, my, would somehow everybody else got their just to level up and evolve quicker than mine. This move never misses. Hey, I landed a hit on the bug. Oh wow, that was it. I, I, I thought for sure that move wouldn't like. 
It's a Kamehameha. What do you expect to happen? The monotony was broken, but... <laughs> Pay up, sucker! I'll go rest at the hotel. I've had quite enough of this. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, is that a fisherman? Uh, I can't wait to ruin this guy's day. Oh, uh, legendary. This is gonna be a ho o -oh raid. They're ho wild ho o's and rayquazas. And the thing that is actually the legendary in this cave is not in its spot. It's just out here wandering. Hello, Heatran. <laughs> what a what a right. downgrade! Like the the story involves the gods of space and time, and optionally Pokemon Satan, and then you do the, you go to the post game, and there's just your lava thing. It's an interesting rare creature. All right, yeah, you're uh, you're dead, Thunderfang. And then the next generation, they they couldn't top themselves, so they had to move to, to abstractions. Yes. Let's do our legendaries of Yin and Yang. Hey, you know what we haven't done yet? Pokemon Cthulhu. That's what we'll do for Sun and Moon. Yeah. Once again, I cut a worthless object. What is that from? Oh, that's from the anime. Apparently, they uh, for the dub, of they uh, just of uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. The anime version, they had uh, the car Kartana. Uh, Speaks? They had just talk it in reverse in English. Oh, okay. And uh, and it was just saying, once again, I cut a worthless object again, again, again. Was that also <laughs> the? Did you like see that in the video that also did uh, James's backtracked dialogue? Yes, where they where he was talking about. Who gives uh, the devil? How yeah, Four Kids is the devil, and, and I guess the guy who was the director of Four Kids just didn't care. Which is funny. Which is funny because I always assumed that a Four Kids dub would, would like any second they would just talk, start talking about Jesus or some shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like I was just thinking oh, at some point. Wasn't even the, the episode where Ash died and became a ghost? Wasn't that controversial? I've never seen that episode. Contrary, uh, I, I I never watched a whole lot of Pokemon because it was very hard to keep track of. It was like it, it ran as often as a soap opera. They always ran those shows five days a week. So if you missed one, despite it, it being very episodic fucked. and not really having arcs either, yeah, it's but somehow you you miss an episode. Oh wait, when did you catch this Pokemon? Oh, wait, when did Ash get twenty Tauros? I must have missed an episode. You did, but it wasn't your fault. <laughs> Oh man, the Pokemon anime. I, it's like I as a kid, you're like, you, you love Pokemon, you're like, I'd like to see a show about Pokemon, and you watch it, and you just slowly get more and more disappointed. I've, I've attempted twice to watch Pokemon from the beginning. I, I couldn't get through, like, half of the Indigo League season. You know what? You'd spend your time much better doing literally anything else. Yeah. There's no payoff. There wasn't a payoff for, like, years until Ash finally won. And now we get to see him, like, uh, be oblivious to his but, like, uh, bisexual friend? Oh, yeah, the the gone to his... He's the gone to his Kilua, I guess. This, uh, Gao. You would, you know, really mean a lot to me if we could be friends, Ash. What do you mean? We are friends! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you're looking kind of weird there, Go. Is everything okay? Um, nothing, nothing. The weird dynamic they went for. <laughs> One-sided romance between Gon and Kilua. I guess it's kind of that, but no, Gon, he's not as open about his feelings, but he, like, hugs Kilua and things. Didn't, yeah, didn't, he, uh, I don't know, like... They slept together in the same bed, and they had no no problem with it. They were just like, "Hey, he went on like a, a sleepover." Went on a, on, on a, a Kilua retrieval arc. Yeah, and it was actually believable because we saw them as like really good friends before that point. Yeah, it's not like Naruto. 
it, oh man, you, we make this comparison every single time. It, which is funny because the fanfic, the fanfic authors, they they, they 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 agree it would be better if they had that dynamic. They were like, they they want that dynamic, but it never happened. You can't just and skip all the scenes of Sasuke and Naruto actually being friends. You you need that to to be included. Oh, speaking of which, um, apparently they remade the stand and <laughs> released it, and that had a lot of the same problems. The the Stephen the King thing. Series. The Stephen King miniseries. Yeah, you, had... you keep saying The Stand, and I'm thinking something JoJo related. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, it's I, I'm not. For, for once, I'm not talking about JoJo. When, when I'm talking about something called a Stand. No, um, it's just all these fishermen with Gyaradoses and shit. Um, but uh, yeah, they basically took a what was a coherent plot and they jumbled it around. Oh, that's no right. Reason. You said they did the seven pounds thing. No, they did it except worse because they just they took all the because the original book and then the miniseries followed a coherent story, a, a coherent a uh, time frame. Like every scene you see is like some set sometime after the scene that happened before it, right? Yeah. As you would do like a series or a show or a movie. But apparently they just had the whole thing just jump back and forth from, like, from scene to from, like, past to future. Just For all back reason. and forth all over the place? Yeah. And, and so, like, a big complaint of the show was, I, I don't know who any of these people are because we're just flashing back and forth. That sounds like the first time I watched Ranma. I had the episode. I don't know where I got it, but I had the episodes completely out of order. Which you would think wouldn't matter for a series like that, but I was very confused because there were no character introductions and I, like, got dropped right in the middle of the second season or something. I mean, that's the kind of thing you would do just to have fun with the show. That's not something you do to, to like, fucking introduce your show for the casual viewer. Oh, when shit, I watched I... Code Geass, but I accidentally started with R2. <sighs> Wait, who are all these characters? That'd be a hell of a way to open up a series. Ah! I got a cramp in my foot. Hold on. You know, just two Rayquazas hanging out. They're buddies. <sighs> ah. More, need more uh, potassium in my diet. I feel like you know, you know how people have mentioned that uh, Pokemon started looking cute after a while. They stopped looking like real monsters and kind of intimidating. They had sharper yeah. angles in Gen One. I feel like Eternatus was a response to that. Like, oh, you want scary, do you? And so have a giant uh, poison skull dragon. It really looked like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Yeah, it looked like something out of Yu-Gi-Oh, like... Wait, no, this isn't how we're supposed to be battling. You gotta summon me via card. Not by ball. Who, who do you think would win in a fight between Eternatus and Zork the Cock Dragon? Uh, I don't know. What type uh, is uh, Z Zork? Uh, what, Dark, what Dark Dragon, I guess, right? Dark Dragon versus uh, Dragon, Dragon Poison? poison? Well, poison they're both super strong... effective against each other. Yeah, it's the dragon v dragon, so. All dragon, right. dragon. No, no it'd, be, it'd still be a toss up. Didn't they have to summon a whole bunch of like gods and stuff in order to stop Zork? I don't know. They, the, Pokemon... the Egyptian gods like ganged up on him and failed. So, uh, so, uh, so he'd have to return a max in order to like properly stop him. Then again, Pokemon is a, is a series with a high power level, deceptively so. How did how did Yu-Gi-Oh and how, what did they, what did they do to Zork? Um, they def I don't know. They did something. There was a lot of crazy shit in that show. I forget how it ended. Anyway, did they, it, was uh, it they Exodia? defeated Zork. No, Exodia failed as well. Yeah, they just um, I think. I don't know what they did. Something about the god cards or something? I don't know. I, <laughs> you're asking the exact wrong person. <laughs> you have any idea how convoluted Yu-Gi-Oh is? It, the final season got very weird. 
It was great, though. At least I, Yugi I like... got a stand. That was cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, that happened, and then, um... And then the series ended with them walking out of the cave and, and having an everybody laughs moment. After, uh, the Pharaoh... No, the series didn't end with Zork's death. It ended with Yugi and, uh, and the Pharaoh dueling. That's right. Well, yeah, that was the, the final part of the series. Yeah. Because that was the only way to lay the Pharaoh to rest, is he had to lose and truly lose. Not, not like, fake it or anything. He, could, he couldn't give in. He, could, he couldn't let Yugi win. You, you know you could have. Nobody, nobody would, like, tattle on you. I'm, I'm, I'm sad that Joey never got to do, like, a, a big finish. He got real cl He got closer to beating Merrick than Vegeta ever got to taking out a Dragon Ball villain. You know, people are positing that uh, Goku and Vegeta will be the next uh, Angel and God, Destroyer God of Universe 7, respectively. Oh, I've seen that. A Angel, though. Did, doesn't that... You gotta be born into that? Maybe... Maybe, the, maybe what the, will happen is that is that he'll be turned into one who'll get blue skin and white hair. Because the one angel, the, like Zeno's angel caretaker, is regarded as the father of the others. Oh yeah. Well, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe go. Maybe he'll take Goku's like soul and essence, and then put it into himself, and then he'll reform him as an angel. Oh okay. He's Zeno. I, I he don't do think they're going to dramatically wants. change either of their character designs because they make money. Well, it'll just be Goku, except he'll have blue skin and white hair. It's, yeah, that's and, too and... different. <laughs> you don't fuck with the formula, Jack. Maybe Zeno will offer to do it to him, to, like, but then he'll just be like, no thanks, I'll just use my angel power, and then Zeno will be like, okay, sure, bye-bye. Meanwhile, Vegeta will just dress in Egyptian swag and be like, yeah. Listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? You'll see one, if you're lucky. Tuber. <laughs> what, a VTuber? Another fucking fish. I should get off the goddamn beach. I want to stop fighting fish. <laughs> Technically, it's also a gun. What, the Aura Sphere? No, Remoraid. Oh. Man, they're just giving guns to kids in this in this uh, universe. They're so tough. Robbing kids of their lunch money. They don't have a lot of money. Yeah. We should stop fighting for, uh, for money. Well, what do you suggest we fight, then? I don't know, for sport? <gasps> you blasphemer. I found a honey. Ooh, would you believe that, uh, that Kim Possible does not charge any money for her world-saving escapades? Oh, God. I hate it when they're just like, nah, I just do it for the sport of it. Just too much. Like, she's not super-powered, is she? No. She fights she people does... with superpowers, which is actually kind okay. of impressive. But she doesn't, like... But she, she still requires, like... Why doesn't she do it? Oh. Wait, why doesn't she take money? She's a teenager, right? She would totally take some money. Not, like, all the money, but, like, some of it. It, it makes every amount of sense that she would charge at least a small fee for what, everything she does, but no. Why not? In fact, there's, like, an, there's an episode where some competing world-saving agents who do charge try, try to step in on her turf, and she's mad at them because she ch they charge money for saving the world. I guess and that's how dare like, they? You think maybe they just they, like <laughs> they just pay her in a trust that when she turns eighteen, she'll get? It's like she doesn't just know like, about it yet. Yeah, just like, I know you don't want it, but here, this is from all of us. We put this all in a trust for you, so you can go to college while saving the world, or whatever the fuck. Her parents are very well off, so I guess she doesn't need it. Oh. 
Okay, so she's a socialite uh, superhero. I mean, she's not. She's not that rich, but they're both doctors, so. Okay, in America, you might as well be rich if you got two doctor parents. Yeah. This isn't. If it was in Europe, then yeah, she'd, she'd be of, of a humble origin. But two doctor parents. She got her uh, her brothers, Tim Possible and Jim Possible. Tim Possible. Jim. God damn it. Her uh, southern uncle, Slim Possible. She's got her grandmother, Mim Possible. You're making stuff. You're making this up now. Am I? I. I. Okay. I, are you? Are you being serious right now? All these fucking fish. Good voice actors. I'll say that for Kim Possible. Yeah. The the main bad guy is voiced by uh, John, uh, Joe DiMaggio, Bender. Uh. So okay, so you watched a lot more Kim Possible than I have. What? What's the deal with Ron Stoppable? Who's Ron Stoppable? He's the the sidekick. Kind, he's bumbling. kind of bumbling, but that's yeah, that's you know that's the charm. He's the loser. He's the everyman. As opposed to Kim Possible's two doctor rich parents. <laughs> oh, I see the it, world as a hobby. It it balances out. Season one is kind of they like they they kind of treat her as a little too perfect, and yet she's oh, also he's... like a really shallow teenager. They tone down both of those things. Like season two and on, we start seeing some flaws in her. Wait, she she's they treat her like a shallow teenager, but she still saves the world for free. Yes. Figure that out. That that is terrible writing. Like I would be like, oh, how would I justify that? That, that makes <clears throat> maybe maybe she just she has all the money in the world and yet. She just wants it for the fame. Shallow in the shallow. sense of, like, she's a stereotypical teenager. Like, she cares about high school cliques and, she, and things like that. She follows you trends. Save, you save the world, and yet you give a shit about getting in at high school? Lady, if somebody bullies you, you can just snap their arm in half and just, and just shove their head in the locker. She's she not as that. bad as Clover from Totally Spies. It's not to <laughs> that degree. Uh, does she get bullied at, at her school? Uh, there is, is a token bitch girl. Okay. So why does she kick her ass? <laughs> Bad karma? I don't know. Okay, okay, I <clears> have another question. She's a hero. Question. Heroes don't do that. I have another question. Is, uh, can, it, does, Kim Poss does everybody know what Kim Possible does? Or is, yes. Is this another secret identity? No secret identity. Okay, it's just so common knowledge. Saves? So she saves the world. Everybody knows that. Yeah, you're a secret agent, like save world saving uh, woman, and yet this one rich girl is gonna act. This one like alpha popular girl is gonna act like she's better than her. Oh yeah, they they don't give a shit. They still just treat her like, oh god, Kim's dating him. <laughs> like as soon as it's it's school time, it doesn't matter. No one gives a shit. Honestly, that kind of that thing would work better if she it was a secret identity. It kind of doesn't work because it's common knowledge. It's like people still trying to bully Ichigo if everybody knew he was a soul reaper. Like, you can summon a sword anytime he wants to and you still want to, like, bully him. Like, Well, oh, he's man. a hero. He doesn't have the guts to, like, beat us up. Remember when Bobby learned how to kick people in the crotch and everybody at school gave him a wide berth? Yeah. And, and he, all he did was learn how to kick people in the crotch and yell out, That's my purse! I don't know you! But, and yet, Kim Possible, liter people who, person who literally takes on, like, people with superpowers, and you still want to be mean to her. Oh my god. I guess it's also the fact that, because it is like that half-venture spot where supervillainy is a common thing, so, there may, there must be other, like, world-saving people. Maybe it's not that big a deal to save the world. It happens twice a day. Maybe... Maybe it does take place in the same universe as Steven... As, uh, Venture Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I could almost buy it. That... that that's the only way this premise makes sense. For the, sure her to still be bullied despite the fact that... She hasn't been broken in yet. We're gonna see Kim Possible, like... 
Like, just one day she's gonna snap future. at high school. Yeah. And, yeah. No, she's she is gonna be a future Venture Brothers character. Punished that, that's... Kim. <laughs> God. It's like imagine if Spider-Man was in your school and everybody knew he was Spider-Man. You'd be, you'd be the coolest person ever. Oh wait, no, Spider-Man. J. Jonah Jameson not constantly put up the hit on him every single day, so maybe yeah. some kids would buy into that. What am I saying? Maybe. Of course they would buy into it. Vigilantes usually aren't treated as vigilantes in in Marvel the same way like Batman was kind of. What? Batman had Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, Commissioner Gordon would, like, call him and be like, Hey, yeah, we got a mystery on our hands. You want to take a crack at this? What are some vigilantes that are treated as, you know, law-defying vigilantes? Like the Punisher, right? The Punisher, yeah. I was about to say, the Punisher kills fucking everyone. And that's why everybody was just kind of like, I don't think we should, uh... No, we, we shouldn't be, uh, be, like, using him for anything. Even heroes who work with the Punisher, they do so reluctantly because he's kind of fucking crazy. God... I'm trying to remember. Um, there was a, there was a story I once heard, uh, or, or a story I read where um, this is the same deal. It's like in this universe, there's no fucking excuse. The, this guy really wants to get at Punisher, so so he murders his family. No, he didn't. No, his family's already murdered. He digs up their family and he pisses on their on their bones and he films it and he sends it to the news and they play it. And he's like in the diner looking at it, and he's just staring dead on. And I'm like, y y y you are an idiot, because he's, he's like, I'm because he sells like the mob family is working on with this plane. He's like, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the Punisher. I'm going to do it by doing this. And they're all like, yeah, sure. So he's taunting so the he, Punisher into attacking him. Yes, and he doesn't actually go for it immediately. He just uh, he starts uh, killing like other like a bunch of criminals all in one night except for the family he's related like that the dude is related to and uh and, and his and he leaves one guy alive and he tells the cops uh you gotta bury the bodies because they're in storage and then eventually everybody's like circling around they're like okay let's fucking do it so they do and he immediately goes to like fight uh he goes to fight uh the guy and he's sitting like an open yeah it actually was kind of brilliant because he didn't like check his surroundings he didn't do the stuff the punisher would do which was to recon the area and plan out his attack like he's playing fucking hitman instead <laughs> instead he just goes at him there's a sniper up there he's ready to take him out he, he lucked out of dying there so you know what he does to him the who the punisher yeah, eventually he take he finds him and he like takes him, and uh, and what he does is that he uh, he walks so he death marches him out into the woods, and and he, meanwhile this guy is like crying and begging for his life. He's like, no, please don't. And then he finally goes. He's like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna shoot you in the gut, and I'm just gonna and I'm I'm gonna make sure to aim straight for your intestines, and so your wound will fill with shit. And it will be a painful way to die. Anyway, later, and he shoots him, and he just starts walking away, and he's going, You know, I think today's going to be a beautiful day. Hey, and that is trainer, why you... my name's Nabashine. <laughs> and, and that is why I, I say nobody fucks with the Punisher. Pokemon are secure, but there's no masking that aura of serious toughness. Name's Flint. Okay, hey, Flint about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's been so few good challenges worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. Then the blackout happened. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> See ya, Flint. Alright. Where's the Poke Center? Top right, I think? I don't remember. This is like a two-story town. Oh, it's just to the right. Oh. Huh. 
So, uh, you said he was, uh, what type again? Electric. Okay. So, Lord Slug's time to shine. Yes, Lord Slug, you can do it. I'm gonna beat everybody with a water type Pokemon, and you're gonna be like, how can this be? No, like, so. So, wait, is it possible? Does she work for anybody, or is she a vigilante? Uh, she, well, she has a website. Pe <laughs> pe people send her jobs, and then she just does them for free. Wait, she's the Michael West? <laughs> what the f <laughs> What? <laughs> this premise. This premise is just falling apart the more it gets. She's not working for anybody. Nope. Well, I mean, she, just, she has, like, people working with her, but no no money is involved. That I've would solve always... most of the flaws in logic if she was just getting paid to do the thing. Hey, Bob, can I can I have a few thousand dollars to, uh, to finance my world saving? All right, dear, take the credit card. It's she just a like, hobby. She's a hero uh, as a hobby. She, she's like Saitama. She is a weird Saitama. <laughs> oh my god. I always thought that she was like a spy or something. She was working for the government or like... Or like Whoop from uh, Totally Spies or some shit. But turns out she's just freelance this entire time. She's just self-made and she's got a tech buddy. She's got her own little Q friend who designs gadgets for her. And that's the extent of it. That is so weird. That... I've never seen anybody that independent. That's actually kind of amazing if I think about it a whole lot. Wait, do you work for anybody? No, I work for no one. Okay, remind me not to piss her off. Doesn't work for anybody. That's that's actually kind of inspiring. She, she also just owns a website, get paid, though. Do you, you think she gets tax she... breaks? Probably. Volunteer you know what? service. You know what, I'm sure she says, oh, I don't need the money, but then her assistants just are like, okay, yeah, just, just pay us, we'll just we'll it our way. She won't notice. Ron Stoppable what? is actually just buried in cash. <laughs> he hasn't told he him anything. <laughs> he, just, he just takes all the money. He's, he's Jewish. Jewish. No, that's his... I, f I forgot that before rewatching the series. Oh, he's, a, he's an out Jew? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Not, not one of them closet Jews. Too soon, man. Wait, this market has nothing? I think there's like, uh... You can buy stuff that has to do with, uh, customizing your Pokeballs. Oh. Which was, an, unfortunately, a, a feature case. that never returned. It's kind of cool, cool what you can do once you, uh, get stuff for it. Where is the gym? I must find the gym. Hey, are you Flint? Hold on, I gotta save again. Oh god. So... I'm st I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on Kim Possible. I think like, we should watch the movie. It's like one hour, and you get the basically the entire gist. You get the the whole series from it. Okay, yeah. Is, is this Kim Possible origin story? Uh, it's not an origin story, but it doesn't assume you know anything about the series. Okay. I, th well, I think it'd be good to watch that and to watch the Totally Spies movie, just, just for something to talk about. Wait, so he's telling me to go to the gym and fight him, but he's not here, but he still wants me to fight him. Do you remember the tower in Gen 2? The lighthouse? Yeah. He's hanging out in the lighthouse. Of course he is. What? Who are you? My name is Jasmine, and I'm a gym leader. You remember the lighthouse that I was up in? I like this town. It's got a lighthouse, too. It'd be nice if you knew about the Johto region. If you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. Oh, is this, is this the path to Victory Road? Yes, and there's a it's waterfall blocking it. As always, they love to build their, their Pokemon leagues on top of waterfalls. <laughs> it's a tradition. Alright, 
so I gotta find this lighthouse then. Where the fuck is it? It's on the second story of the Bottom town. right. Second story, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the show had a fandom. Uh, Kim Possible. Impossible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Had its fans. Compared to Pro the other stuff that was on Disney Channel, it stood out. That's not yeah. a terribly high standard. That's not, that's not a good look for Disney Channel animations no. back, back then. I remember them being consistently being like, I would rather watch anything else on Cartoon Network. It was between Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, and I usually watched one of those. Oh, yeah. there's not a dungeon. You just ride the elevator to the top. That's so nice. Ugh. So you're the latest challenger up against Sunny Shore Jim. All right, I've decided. If I find you to the week, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. I want to have battles that can thrill me again. Is that? Wait, did did Lieutenant Surge transfer over to to Shino? Maybe, maybe he had like a son. Son of Buzz Shin. Uh. So that's the Pokemon League. In 3D! Glorious 3D. Now we go. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and protection. And not a place where a bunch of drunk sailors congregate to battle for five stories. <laughs> Man, I'm glad our lighthouse didn't turn into that. That'd be stupid. We installed an elevator. There's no, there's nowhere for the sailors to hang out. It's just an yeah. elevator full of five sailors. Are you ready for a Pokemon battle? Get out of the elevator or I'll call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to battle in elevators, that's dangerous. Welcome to Nugget Elevator. If you beat us five trainers, we'll give you a gold nugget. <laughs> oh no, I'm not supposed to go here. I would lo I'd love for there to be a Pokemon fight in an elevator in a game, and it just has its own music. You get to hear elevator music for the battle. Oh, Only that battle, no others. <laughs> It'd be elevator music version of one of the battle songs. Yeah. Or just the girl from Empanina. Empanina? Empami- I don't know. I forget. Empanada. Em Empanada. Oh man, I missed those! Don't make me- don't remind me of Taco Bell. I haven't eaten that in, in months. I kinda want to, but I know it's unhealthy for me. You'd think it wouldn't have to be. Like, it's just like beans and tomatoes and lettuce on a tortilla, but... No, but they must Taco use a Bell. lot of really greasy... Something to fry it. Alright, uh, tell me about this gym, dude. How's it going, champ to be? Let me check your trainer case. Wow, you've got seven! You're on your way to the Pokemon League next. This is the last thought... time I get to give you advice. I never asked for advice. Well, I'm giving it! Master of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. But you're about it useful as always. Oh, I fucked up already. You spin me right round, baby. Okay, there we go. Again, not paying attention. I think I've been trying to cut a ghost bead. Man, I hate it when you do that. When I do that, accidentally. <clears throat> Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure now? Who are some of the nastiest, like, uh, Zero Dimensions Queen Bee characters? Because Kim, Kim Possible had one. Totally Spies had, a, had a, a just awful one. Mandy, right? Mandy, that, yeah. Fuck Mandy. Mandy... Kim Doesn't Possible she later had join body. Whoop, too? I, th I think for, that... like, briefly, for, like, one episode or something. Uh... They, Billy and Mandy had one. There was Mindy? You remember her? Yeah, oh, there was another Mindy. Mindy. Oh, wow. That, you, you, you knew Hyper Fang. How dare you? 
Uh, then there. I oh, think there was Eris, who was the goddess version of that. Yeah. No, no, that was in one dimensional though. What about that one? Uh, wasn't that the point of that one panty and stocking episode? The, the, the demon sisters. The high school one. Oh, yeah, there was a Queen Bee episode of Panty and yeah. Stalking. Uh, there was also... I think I heard the Magical Ladybug show has a character like that, who is just constantly awful to the main character, and yet is always getting saved by the main character. You, you Again, it doesn't that... make a lot of sense when you think about it. After the fifth time, I just let her die. Like... Like, okay. I guess I guess she's got her secret identities in that series, so they, she doesn't know that it's the Ladybug Girl. Does she really like the Ladybug Girl, but hate the person the Ladybug Girl actually is? I don't know. I haven't watched the show. I'm gonna guess that's what's going on. I want to win. I channeled that desire through my guitar. Okay, Red Hot Chili Pepper. It's Joel. It is, it is literally pre-haircut Joel. Mud. What's, it, what's this Pokemon's name? Gastrodon? I think that's it. It's, it's cry sounds like Pikachu, weirdly enough. Yeah, I could hear it. I'm just... Of course, I need more mud techniques, or ground techniques. Earthquake, earthquake would be helpful. We could win, no encores for us. Alright, let us continue. Okay, bridge is extended, so let's go. Sorry. Don't worry about it. It's not like I could avoid that. This is the toughest gym in Shino. Shino. I always say Shino. Like, <laughs> what is? What are you? Here, I'll, po I'll post it in the Discord. I was I was looking for this picture. Someone in Ganon Cord made it. It's uh, the kind of things you can do with the Pokeball customization, you can make little things come out of the Pokeball when the Pokemon appears. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Mime, you're not electric. Mime, Mime! I wonder how people uh -oh. are going to look back on the Detective I think my, Pikachu I think he's dead. Oh, no, he's alive. movie CG in a few years. I guess that goes for any CG. Like, how quickly will it become dated? You know what didn't become dated? Yeah. Uh, the Jurassic Park. Wasn't that mostly physical effects? You would think that, but it's been a bit, there's a lot of CG in it. <clears throat> also, uh, uh, Mad Max Fury Road. The original Star Wars was mostly uh, practical effects. Yeah. And practical then they effects. redid it with CG later on. And everyone loved it! If I do a movie, I'm not going to do CG at all. I'm just gonna do strictly practical effects. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my blood my the blood myself. I'm gonna use fake skin and shit. It'd be, it'll be great. I like I'm that Mary and Max was to, uh, all of Adam Elliott stuff is all practical. Like he builds all the models and effects and everything. What type is uh is energy ball? What type of attack is that? Grass. Okay, that explains why. That explains why I'm taking so much damage. All right. Wait, so you're in an electric gym fighting a Mr. Mime firing grass balls at you? Yes. You never know what that Mr. Mime's gonna do next. Aerial Ace. If do you think Mr. Mime could be a stand? Is that design uh, close enough? Maybe tweak it a little bit. Yeah, make it make it so that its eyes are, are crazier. What what would its name be? What would the name be for that that look? Uh, Crowding House. Is that the, the song? It's a band. Insane the Clown. Did. Hey now, hey now, Insane Clown. No, you have three of them, and they're the Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. 
It's a triple stand. Has that existed yet? Someone with like, uh, yeah, six sex pistols. Yeah, six bullets, uh, otherwise known as. <clears throat> yeah, they can all talk, so the insane clown posse would have to talk as well. What would the what would the dub name of Insane Clown Posse be? Uh, Strange Entertainer. A Strange Entertainment Group. <laughs> no, just Strange Inter Entertainer, because that's the same amount of syllables or similar. What was the uh, what, the the best translated stand name? Filthy um, Axe at a reasonable price. That was good. That was pretty good, actually. Stand of Funny Valentine and Steel Ball Run. That's I'm not looking name. up anything else about it. I just love that that's the name they translated it to. They they know what they're doing. What, Steel Ball Run or Funny Valentine? No, the... the oh, okay. Filthy yeah. acts at a reasonable so, price. Yeah, that's the, cause that's what you do. All right, so this is obviously a Pikachu. What's it going to use? Faint? No. It's a female it's Pikachu. You can tell because its tail is a heart. Yeah. <clears throat> I figure we'll stop after you finish the gym. Figured. Yeah. Wait. What? Oh, I didn't. I didn't catch what it was. That's fine. Another Pikachu. I love Pikachu. Never gonna evolve my Pikachu. I'm bored. I'm gonna use Surf. Would have been oh, such a good opportunity it? for uh, Pikachu to evolve after Ash got the the championship. I guess in that he... case, then uh, Go would need a, a Pikachu. But then people would still probably be mad. No, you know what? It's a low. It's a Lola, right? You evolve into a Lola and Pikachu. Is it a Lola? Or a Lola and Raichu. Well, no, Lola it's Gen Raichu. Eight, so isn't it? Uh, it's the, the No, the... I mean I mean after he won the, the thing. You that's where that's where no. he, the Pikachu evolves. The Pikachu's never gonna evolve. There's always gotta be a Pikachu in the series at the very least. Yes. <clears throat> There's an alter like I would make an alternate uh, Pikachu that's uh that'd be like dark fire type. Because yeah. it's got like a stick that's on fire in its mouth. And then it evolves into Pika Sleuth, and it just looks like a hard-boiled noir detective. We got that, though. Well, we get that in uh, Gen 7. We get, uh... No, it's totally not the Trunk Pokémon, it's a detective Pokémon. That's what it's based off of. You've seen that one, you know what I'm talking okay, yeah, about, Okay, yeah, I right? know, but that's a detective, though. I'm talking about, like, a noir private detective. Oh, okay. Like, the kind of... Oh wait, electricity is weak against grass, right? No, just ground, is its only okay. weakness. Okay. It why isn't faint working? That is weird. The move faint? Yeah. I think it only hits if you try to use like uh detect or protect. I was being serious. There it is. Alright, let's get this fight out of the way. Oh yeah, that's right. Garfield So you, we've talked about the firefighting decks. Before, yes. Where that that project where someone turned all of the Pokemon into fire and or fighting types, except the ones that were already fire or fighting types. Yeah, they, that person just made like a bunch of other uh, types for those, like water fire. And it was just like looked like he came out of the sauna. Anyway. Well, now we have the Garfield decks. It's even better. Yeah, Chaunt eating. I like the Gengar Garfield. Garfidos. What about the, the Snorlax one fits? 
Snorlax yeah. is already basically Garfield, except strong. Yeah, the, the slow bro one is terrifying. <laughs> By the way, I like that they made fucking Necromancer Slowbro. <laughs> Slow King, sorry. Oh, yeah, you mean the... Palpatine. Good old yeah. Palpatine. What the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> so when you get a... Uh, when you eventually get a Switch, you'd be interested in getting... Uh, sword or shield. Oh yeah, probably. I know that, again, a lot of people are gonna be pissed at me for liking sword and shield. How dare I? I never got the, uh, I never got the DLC for it. I'll probably get it. Ace Trainer Destiny. Kadabra. That's okay. not an electric type. You fucking, uh... I, I guess that type. is why this is the hardest gym in the region, because they know not to use a single type. Like, no, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Do you I use a single use type? It's got to be like a league rule that a gym has to have a type specialty, right? Maybe. Chaos type. Alright, how bad is this going to hurt? My special defense is probably pretty high, so it's... Yeah, alright, that's good. You fool. Psychic abilities don't work on slugs. Bullets don't affect me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm imagining you know punching Gastrodon would work similarly to punching Spongebob. It just bounces off. God. Spongebob essentially is a stand. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna right, have you. to remember right. that when I'm kicking your butt. You can cut him, though. Yeah, that's right. But he's, he's just Luffy. But, he's weak Luffy. Actually, you know what? Cutting him won't even work, because he'll probably, he'll probably just reform. Oh, Shedinja still has Wonder Guard. Surf. Oh, light screen. Shit. And it could be any type. Alright, beat up. Go. Yeah, it has to have Wonder Guard, because it still has one hit point, right? I don't know. If it is randomized stats, that would be that would mean I get the shit end of the stick. I guess, what is, uh... Well, no, it doesn't have, like, the lowest stat total of Pokémon. List of all Pokémon by base stats. You just yell out Spark. That's his battle cry. Spark! Preston. Luxio. Shedinja's stat total, even accounting for its 1 HP, is 236. The lowest is 175. So it's not even, no, it's not, not even towards the very bottom. So it could randomize into something completely fucking busted. <clears throat> the highest is that super giant god Eternamax Eternatus, with yeah. 1,125 stat total. What the fuck? They really wanted to sell people on it. A giant hand Pokemon. Wait Which, a minute, you're The a previous highest barrel. was Mega Rayquaza, who was so broken he had his own tier above banned. <laughs> There's like a super oh. band tier just for Mega Rayquaza. Ult Mega band. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the difference between the two tiers then? Uh, I th I think like the Uber tier they are still able to be used in like anything goes tournaments. I think oh, Mega but... Rayquaza can't even be used in those. Okay. So it's just it's just bad time all around. Basically, because Mega Pokemon need to be holding an item. To, they need to sacrifice their item slot to turn into the Mega Forms, except Mega Rayquaza, who is a legendary with Mewtwo stats, 
and plus Mega Form, plus has his item slot. They, they really didn't think that part through. Let's have a challenging boss battle. It's not that simple when you can play as the boss. Stop saying that. What, Spark? Yeah, you just... Spark! What would, uh... Purge the Cowardly Dog... Like, uh, if they change that genre from, like, somewhat horror to, like, it's a adventure series thing, then I wonder, I wonder how, how that would, would have been like, or what that would have been like. I don't know. What, what, what do you have in mind? Uh... You can walk under the electricity, by the way. Oh, really? You're, you're not gonna get zapped and die. But it made it seem like... Oh, whoops. I gotta restart from the very beginning. This isn't Castlevania. You can't walk on the gears, man. But... Then what's the point? It's aesthetic. <sighs> Honestly, Adventure Time was darker than Courage in spots of it. Like, it, Steven Universe, as I was watching it for the start, I, it kind of always had that feeling of a little bit Working. of lingering dread, because you knew that the gems were always hiding things from Steven, and by extension, yeah. the viewer. But, like, Adventure Time is post-apocalyptic, and there's a lot of, like, ways the world could end at any moment. The whole world is fucked up. There's a lot of just depressing stuff in it. A lot of nihilism, let's say. Oh, so it is edgier than uh, than Steven Universe. Yes. Fuck your Steelix. And it's not really something that is magically resolved by the end of the show. It's just the attitude is kind of, yeah, this whole world is fucked. We're just living in it. So it's a happy, nihilistic. colorful, cartoony post-apocalypse. Oh yeah, the most colorful post-apocalypse uh, uh, this side of uh, Far Cry New Dawn. That is that is a weird thing I was expecting because I didn't expect them to create a sequel to that. You so you know what happens at the end of Far Cry Four, right? The is that the Pagan Min one? No, that's Far Cry. Oh no, sorry, Far Cry Five. I am not at all familiar with Far Cry, and I probably won't ever play them. Yeah, fair enough. So, <clears throat> Far Cry 5, uh, how that ends is uh, is nukes fall on, on the U.S., and you have to rush what year through, like, take place Hellfire. Um, I think it was contemporary. Oh, okay. So, so the, the cult leader is like, God won't let you arrest me, and then fucking... And then the fucking nukes fall, and the guy... You, one of the people you're traveling with is like, Oh shit, he was right, man! He was right! And then... <laughs> oh, I fucking detect. So you're running from a nuclear explosion is the end of the game. Well, you were running from the, the heat and the fire, and you eventually go into the fucking bunker, and, uh... And then, and then you're, you are alone with the fucking main villain, and he's like, you've taken away my family, but... You'll be my family now, won't you? And that's how the game is. You're in a bunker locked away with, with the main villain. And then they made a sequel to it, and you expect, like, oh, it's post-apocalypse, nuclear apocalypse, right? It's all gonna be black and, and like, horrifying and, like, burned. Nope, y you see it, and everything's just covered in, gla in grass and flowers, and it looks actually pretty beautiful. Nature is returning. Humans were the virus. <laughs> It's just, I look at that, I'm like, they didn't, they didn't drop fucking, uh, fucking nukes on there. It was just a bunch of napalm. It was all an illusion. We made it all up. It never happened. It's just, <laughs> and that happened, and I'm just, I was just like, I'm like, wait, what? This is supposed to be a sequel to the fucking nuke one? Imagine if Mother 3 ended with Lucas being stuck inside the capsule with Porky, as if he didn't go through enough. That would, that would, that would be sad. I think I fucked up. Uh... Okay, I 
guess I'm uh, doing this. That sets it there. That sets it there. Oh my god. Um, do I have to go back? Get yeah, son of a bitch, I do, don't I? <sighs> Alright. Fine. I think you saw Volkner, right? So this is the final room? Yeah, this is the final room. Okay, I think I got it now. Turn it twice. And yep. Save. Oh, my cut miss. Is the bug a ghost? What's all these insects or ghosts? The bees and the dragonflies? Yeah, the, it, there was a there was a fucking uh, outbreak of, it, of insecticide, and then and then the mass murder caused the, the spirits to uh, form into ghosts. Insect ghosts leave this place. I'm Volkner. I say I'm the top, but let's get this over with. Meh. Volkner is. He's as fed up as Jackie is. I like you. I like you too. Never liked anything like this before. Wanna like go to the coffee shop? Sure. You just suit going in, in May. I don't hate you. I don't hate you too. Did Zuko ever have a kid? I think yeah, his his daughter was the Fire Lord in Korra. Oh, okay, yeah. Was it? Oh wait, wasn't his his uh, son also like Eero? I think it was his nephew or something, or his grandson. His nephew, who happened to look and sound exactly like young Zuko. Wait, his his nephew, like Azula's kid? I look exactly, look and sound. Exactly. I, I can find this out. Yeah, look it up. Son of Fire Lord Azumi. Okay, so grandson of Zuko. Okay. All right. Grand nephew of Azula and Kiyi. Who's Kiyi? <laughs> Is that? Oh, that's right. There was a, a comics thing. Ur Ursa's, I think Zuko's uh... mom had another child. Yeah, with someone else. Cause fuck you. This Raichu is tough. I'm almost out of the mud bombs. Despite the comics not... I, I don't think the last Airbender comics were overall great, but uh, Zuko's mom's story was kind of sad. I bet she was, was. she was forced into marrying the Fire Lord, basically. Yeah, an arranged marriage, or was it was it ripe of conquest like Yujiro? It was basically like, hey, I, I pick you. You don't have a say. Come with me to the okay, palace. Okay, so it is Yujiro. Yeah. All right. Well, he, she still fell in love with Yujiro, though. Like Baki's mom. Yeah, she, she looked at Yujiro, and then the one look, he's like, she's like, oh, yeah. She wasn't kicking and screaming the whole way. Was was she in the comic? What was she? Uh, I was. Uh, I'm asking you. Was she in the comic, kicking and screaming all, all the way? And uh, and she, uh, Ursa, gave into it. She was never happy about it. Oh my god, that's creepy. That is that is just like the kind of thing where it's like you see that and you're like, ooh, you were never a good person, were you? And she already had a lover when he plucked her away. Yeah, he was never really a good person, was he? No. Just constant, just constant stream of yeah, fuck that guy. Mark Hammer likes to play bad, bad men. He is, yeah. His, one of his his breakout role was fucking Luke Skywalker, the very the archetypical person of like a hero's journey, and yet I saw like a, a picture of. Uh... Like Luke in the first several movies, always going out of his way to be hero, and then Luke in the sequel trilogy, like, what's in it for me? Why should I help you? He's jaded. He's like, from Old what I Luke heard, is done being a hero. Yeah, he, I think what broke. There was a lot that broke him, from what I heard. Like, I only watched the first, uh, 
the first part of that sequel trilogy, and I kind of didn't. I was it didn't really it was decent, but it didn't really sell me on the rest of the trilogy. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Oh I'm god, like, there's two of them. <laughs> nope. What? what? But I thought of electric type. I can't get paralyzed off. Oh, you're using crunch on me, huh? And my defense goes down. And I can crunch. Alright, good. Oh, I told you about this uh, off-stream. I finished my, just for fun, playing the Wind Waker randomizer. Yeah, because of the that. size of Wind Waker, it was extremely slow, and a lot of it amounted to just combing the Great Sea like five times over every island. But... The one thing I loved about it is that I didn't have to do any of the temples. Like, all of the progression items are in the item pool, so you're not required to do any of them. That's cool. As opposed to, apparently, that, like, the way that the 64 games are coded makes that more, like, impossible to do in the randomizer. Huh. That's actually interesting. I would... However, the uh, Ocarina randomizer has a optional game mode. The called Triforce Hunt, where it adds yes. a bunch of Triforce shards into the item pool, and if you get also all of them, you link to, the, to the credits. It's also a thing in Link to the Past, yeah. You should try Ocarina of Time Triforce Hunt, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, 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 probably, I probably will. Uh, Do that as a stream. That'd be, that'd be fun. I think there's a... Ocarina, the Ocarina Randomizer has a multiplayer mode. I kind of want to figure that out, and like towards the end of the year, maybe we can do an Ocarina multiplayer randomizer with the that'd Triforce cool. mode. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Is it a race, or is it just a we both? I think it's co-op. I don't know. Nice. Ah, ha, ha, you beat me. That was fun. Made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. We, we beat him so hard he became a default Pokemon character. Now he's on the same wavelength as everyone else. Like, you're so great, I don't like power, friendship! I don't like you anymore. I liked you Goodbye. better when you didn't give a shit. You're giving me stuff. This is awkward. This is over between us. Charge beam. Alright, I, I beat him. I was, there was one other thing I wanted to add. Um, but you I should I, go I out to the Pokemon it. Center and save. Yeah, I will. Where else am I going to go? I'm going to cut a ghost. You die, Hollow! Die, Hollow. Die, Hollow. You don't belong in this world. I don't know. Ever since we went to that bleach place, Duskull hasn't been the same. <laughs> God. World hopping Pokemon trainer and his stories. And meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, Reed just confronts the dusk goes like, you too, huh? I went to one place full of, full of things called Meisters, and there was a really tall Duskull with big hands. He was my, he, he's my hero. And then this other place had one that was Jamaican. <laughs> Dust Skull can only view skeletons as more of itself. It's just... Oh, uh, uh, you would have to be a bloody Pokemon trainer, wouldn't you? I met, I met a Dust Skull. It, it, had, it had a blue eye and could teleport. Uh... Yeah, his brother was another taller dust skull. He sounded like a like a crazy another crazy dust skull called Skeletor. He must have been a regional variant. <laughs> he thinks they're all regional variants. Are you a regional variant, dust skull? <laughs> you make bone puns. You you must be part psychic. Meanwhile, uh. Meanwhile, <laughs> that one dust skull 
that, that was called skeleton that evolved into skeleton where he's like, oh that must be a dark ghost. Oh, nothing can defeat it. You fools! I am not ghost! <laughs> was Skeletor even dead, or what was the deal with Skeletor? I don't know, I didn't watch He-Man. Is, is it just a mask? He looked just like a regular guy underneath it? He had muscles. You'd think, logically, a skeleton wouldn't have <laughs> muscles. How do you be a yeah. muscular skeleton? You steal other people's muscles and wear them as like as like battle ar as like power armor. Oh, is that how it works? I think I don't know. Maybe it's just a suit. Maybe he just maybe it is just literally armor that looks like a muscle suit. Remember, fucking they, they got uh, the dude the dude who played Magneto in like a muscle suit. Yeah, I'm looking at the I'm looking at Skeletor's Wikipedia article. Does it powers and abilities? <laughs> An extremely powerful sorcerer. Yeah, checks out. Okay. Yeah. It it doesn't it okay. doesn't say anything about the fact that he's a skeleton with fucking muscles. <laughs> Not to be confused with Skeletor, an incomplete structure in Krakow, Poland. Oh, uh, nicknamed after Skeletor. There's there's a monument to Skeletor in Poland. <laughs> what? But it's like a skyscraper. Somebody built a skyscraper. Oh, I'm on, sorry. It's called this. the Unity Ta Tower, nicknamed Skeletor. <laughs> I gotta see this. Hold on. There's nothing special about it, it's just a skyscraper called Skeletor! That's what they want you to think, that's his lair. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was up there like... <laughs> he Those the fools will never suspect that I have made my lair in Poland! <laughs> it's, it, yeah, I remember how Valmont had a lair in, in uh, LA? Like, remember, it's the same deal except Skeletor. Remember and, when Valmont lost everything and became a bus driver? <laughs> you know what? He seemed happier. He saw Jackie Chan come by and he just didn't say a word, just continued doing his job. He let go of that hatred in his heart. Jackie Chan had arcs. <laughs> let go of the hate in his heart, not arc. Alright, that's it for Pokemon. We'll come. I think we'll have one more stream. Jack's got to go to the the, the 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 victory road and punch out Flint and Nabashina yeah. in Elite Four. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll we'll see. It's I okay. You to... got steroids. Yes, I might have to give him more steroid, more energy steroids. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.